Hi all, welcome to my channel Data Wisdom. Today we are going to see how do we use join component into Ab Initio. So the purpose of join component is to read data from multiple input ports, combine the data with matching keys and based on the transform that we specify into our join transform parameter. And then those records will received from output port. Okay, so let's see how do we use join component into Ab Initio. What are the parameters that need to be configured and how can we perform different kind of joins? Okay, so join component again, it is available into transform folder into component library. We can directly drag it to our graph. Okay, and the requirement of join component is to have at least two input port so that it can perform any kind of join based on a key parameter and then we'll be having one output port and for each input port with respect to each input port we'll be having a new port reject port and error port okay we'll see why do we use this port and how can we capture these records okay so similar to reformat we have one count parameter into join component but the functionality is different. Whenever we were incrementing count of reformat component, it was incrementing the count of output parameter. But here into join, if I'm incrementing the count parameter, number of input ports will change. And based on this number of input port, we'll be having a new port, reject port and error port. Okay. So by default, it is two. Okay. Then there is a parameter called sorted input before joining whether our input data sh should be sorted or not. So if we have kept this radio button checked, input must be sorted. In that case, we'll have to provide our input data in a sorted order. It may be ascending or descending based on the requirement. And if I am saying in memory input need not be sorted, then if even if you don't provide a sorted input, your join will work properly. It will perform in memory operation and then it will perform join. Okay. We have key parameter key. Here we'll provide the column based on which we want to join these two flows. So that should be the matching column between these two input flows. Okay, so for whichever record the value of this column is matching, it will perform the join that we are mentioning into this particular join type. Okay, transform here we will be writing our mapping based on our output DML, which field should be selected from which of these port. Okay, then we have three kind of joins available into App Initio. First is inner join that will give us the matching record from both the flows full outer join it will give all the records from all the flows and explicit join it is used to perform left and right outer join okay so as soon as we select the join type is explicit we'll get these two parameters into our parameter list so if it is inner join we are not having that those parameters available as soon as we select explicit we'll have this record required parameter enabled into join component. So if I'm saying record required zero is true, record required one is false, that will perform an left outer join because that will give me all the records from N0 and only matching records from N1. Similarly, if I reverse the order, record required zero is false, record required one is true, then it will give me right outer join. Okay, so this way we can implement left and right outer join into Ab Initio. Okay, so for now let's keep it as inner join. Then we have these dedupe parameters available. Whether before performing join, do you want to remove any duplicates present into this flow? So dedupe zero is with respect to N zero, dedupe one is with respect to N one. So before joining, if you want to remove duplicates on this flow, you can use this parameter and you can select any of this option. So if I'm selecting dedupe this input before joining, it will remove the duplicate. If I am saying do not dedupe, it will not remove the duplicates. Then for each input port, we are having select parameter. 
So if you want to select a particular data based on any DML expression from that flow, you can use the select parameter and you can write your select condition. Now we have this override key parameters. So if your key column name is different into both the files. Now suppose from here I want to I'm having a column as department ID from here I have column name ID okay so column names are different but I want to join both of these flows based on department ID and ID so into override key one I'll provide ID okay so this override key will be compared to the value that we are giving into key parameter okay then which port do you want as your driving port okay for join for performing join then whether you want to maintain order of your output record or not then max score it is the maximum memory used by join component or non driving inputs before spilling your data to main desk so initially it takes the data into main memory and perform the join if the value is exceeding from your max code, that data will be spilled on to your physical desk. Then reject threshold, it is similar to any other component that we have studied so far into our previous video. Okay, and based on the kind of join, whatever we are giving into this join type, it will give me output. Okay, now let's see the examples. How do we implement join component? Okay. So here we are having two input files. First input file, let's view the data. So into this file, I have records as employee ID, employee name, company ID and salary. Okay. My other input file is company file where I have data for those companies. Okay. So the common key for me is this company ID. I want to join my data based on company ID with ID column from company file and I want to get company name and company location as my output file. Okay. Now if you'll see, I do not have company ID 60s data present into my company file and for company ID 30, I do not have any employee. Okay. So we'll see different kind of join. How do we implement them? Okay. So a new port based on our key, if any of the record is not getting a matched record, that record will flow through a new port. Okay. Let's see the DML of our output file. What do we want into our output file? We want employee ID, employee name, company name, company location and salary. Okay. So will join our data based on company ID and ID. So the column names are different into both the files. Okay. So before joining, I have set my sorted input as input must be true. So I'll have to sort my data based on the key column before providing it to join component. So this flow is sorted on company ID and the other flow should be sorted on ID column. Okay. Now into join component, I have given my key as company ID. Now, since the column names are different into both the flows, I'll also have to provide my override key, which I have given as ID. Okay. Now I want to perform say inner join. So join type I have selected as inner. What are we writing into our transform? We are telling our join component, which column should be mapped to which flow. So these columns are being mapped to N0. That means my employee file and company name and company location. I'm taking out from company file, which is connected to in one port. Okay. I do not want to dedupe any of the input records. I do not have any select expression. Okay. Let's run this graph. So we have one company ID for which I do not have any employee that is company ID 30. I have an employee with company ID 60 for which I do not have a company detail. 
Now let's see what is my output after running in our join. So from both the files I am getting 5 5 records but into my output file I am having only 4 records. And I will be having only records for which id is present into both the files. That means company id 10, 20, 40 and 50. 30 and 60 are into our unused file. So as we discussed we had one employee for which I did not have any company details present into my company file. Okay. So the employee was employee ID 5 and company ID was 60. So we have received that record from unused 0. Unused 1 will receive the data from company details file since for company ID 30 we did not have any employee working. Okay. Now let's change the join type. We will change the join type to full outer join. So we should not receive any record into unused file. Okay, Whichever record is not getting a match for that the respective column should be populated as null. Okay, So suppose for employee id 5 or Naveen company id 60 we were not having company details. So company name and company location should be null. Similarly for company id 30 employees detail should be none. Okay. Let's view the data. See for Infosys or company id 30 the employee details are null. Similarly for Naveen employee id 5 company details are null. So full outer joining is bringing me all the records from both the flows but with for whichever record the values are not matching for my key column the respective columns from other file would be null okay now for implementing left outer join join type will select as explicit okay i want to implement left outer join so record required zero should be true record required one should be false this will implement my left outer join so it will give me all the records from left flow and only matching records from right flow. Okay. So see we do not have any unused record from in zero since we are implementing left outer join. So all the records from this file will flow to output. Only matching records will flow from this file. So we have one unused record from our input port 1 since we did not have any details for employee sorry company id 30 okay so for employee id file we were not having any company details so the company details would be null okay similarly if we want to implement right outer join again join type will be explicit record required zero will be false record required one will be Let's run the graph. Now I should get unmatched record into unused 0 and all the records from company detail should flow to output file. Okay. See we will receive employee id 5 data over here for which company id was 60. Okay. And all the records from company details have flown to output file. So join component can be used into ab initio for implementing inner join, full outer join, left outer join and right outer join. The basic functionality of join component is it combines data from two or multiple flows based on a key column. Okay, If keys are matching depending on join it will populate the output record. Based on key if you are not finding any match those record will go to respective unused port. Okay. Hope this helps you. Thank you.